Hi, welcome to a tutorial on how to use short codes with WP Symposium Pro. Um, this is our demo website. If we click on Setup under WPS Pro, we can have a look at our extensions here and see what we've got ticked. For this video, we're going to add a directory of members using short codes on WordPress pages. So I tick my member directory option and pop back to my site, and the first thing I'll notice is that there's no directory to be shown. The power of Symposium Pro is with short codes, and short codes are added to WordPress pages. So we're going to add a new page for our member directory. So I click on Add New, give the page a title, and now I can add a short code into my WordPress page. And if you've not done this before, don't panic. Once you've done it once or twice, it'll be second nature. If I go over to the wpsymposiumpro.com website, under How To and then Short Codes, after some help there, there's a list of the variety of short code options that we have. So I can select Member Directory, and here I can see all the detail needed for the short codes that I need to add to the WordPress page to show the directory. The first one is for search form, and the second one is to show the actual directory itself. This is the one we're going to use. And underneath here, there's some examples to get you going after um, a load of options are shown just above there. So I'm going to copy the WPS directory shortcode straight off that site and add it to my WordPress page. Now you'll notice here that it copies the styles, and this is an important point which I want to highlight. By copying it off the website, it's copied the fact that it's a red heading. If I switch to the text view of my editor, I can actually see there that it's a heading 2 with a font weight and a colour, and I'm going to strip that out. And this is something to bear in mind if you're copying and pasting short codes or examples from the wpsymposiumpro.com website. So that's my short code, and I don't have to do anything else other than publish that page. That short code is used to tell WordPress to display the directory for WP Symposium Pro. But what I do need to do is add it to my site menu. So here I can tick my new page and add it to my menu. Save the menu and then go back to my website to have a look at my new page. Directory is now in the menu and if I click on that the directory of members is shown. There are two members on this website, myself, Simon and Joe Blogs. And by default I am not shown, the current user is not shown. However, we can change this along with anything else through options for the shortcode. And options are all listed here. All the options for WP Symposium Pro have a variety of things that you can do to change the output. And the one I'm interested in for now is Include Self, which tells WP Symposium Pro whether or not to include the current logged in user. And by default, it doesn't. Zero denotes don't whereas one would denote do. So in my shortcode here, I can add that include hyphen underscore self equals one, which will change the default from zero to one, thereby including the current user. I now have a look at my directory. I'm now included as well. So the options to the shortcode are very powerful and allow you to do all sorts of things and it's worth looking at all of the options for all of the shortcodes. So let's do something else. Uh, the avatar size. This is the size of the user picture and by default it's 64 pixels square. And I'd like to make it larger. So again I can add as an option to the shortcode avatar underscore size equals 128 for 128 pixels update and then view the page and we can see there straight away that the avatar is now twice as big there are some examples down here just to help with uh, to get you going and there's one here I'm going to copy and paste here if I was doing a Spanish website and I want to change the English phrases used to a Spanish version so I'm going to copy those example shortcode options and paste it straight in there now here you'll see the same problem occurs copying and pasting from a website. It copies the format as well. So I need to delete it and make sure that it's just plain text and no styles or headings or anything. And that looks good. 
So I can update that and view the page. And you'll see that it's changed. And this could be a different phrase in English if you wanted to change the default text, or if you're doing different languages, then you could also change it to the local language. And the shortcut options provide you with options to change all of the various pieces of text that are used in the shortcode. So have a look through those and try it out for yourself. Now a directory is useful, um, but if there's a lot of members, then we want to add a search form as well. So that will be a second shortcut which we're going to put into the page here, WPS directory search. Notice there's hyphens and not underscores in a shortcode. So I'm going to paste that in just to demonstrate again that it's copying the format. If I switch to text, I can then delete those. So I'm now back to my basic shortcode. Update the page, go back to view the page, and now I have a search facility which will automatically filter all of the members as I type. Click on search and then it finds that user. And there's options there as well. By default, the, the label on the button just says search, but as an example here, we're going to change the default search to find members as this example shows here. So again copy it straight from the example, edit the page and paste it in and again just as doing that on purpose to show you the issue with copying and pasting from a website. It's added in this style here which is going to mess things up so I delete that. This wouldn't happen if you were typing it in yourself of course, it's only when copying and pasting from a website. But we now have a label find members for the button, so I can save it, view the page, and now it says find members on the button instead. So have fun with shortcodes, they're incredibly powerful with loads of options.